it has like potential yet basically on the tech side the tvl side honestly i think ton is really cool but i actually think it's kind of under the radar the potential and the fact that it hasn't been running yet it's been sitting on this level for like more than a year what's the advantages of an l2 versus an l1 like pulse chain the block times a little bit faster we have you know the lower fees it's an open network right anyone can come build do whatever they want <laughs> Anyone yeah, wants yeah. to come up and join and talk blockchains? Which ones are going to do the best? What do you think, Roman? Do you like Todd? I mean, like, from the ecosystem perspective, it has, like, potential yet, basically on the tech side, the TVL side. Honestly, I think Ton is really cool, but I actually think it's kind of under the radar. I just wait for this spark to happen. When it does happen, considering this set of factors, like, the potential and the fact that it hasn't been running yet. It's been sitting on this level for, like, more than a year, so... The question, they've got, like, one of the most unique kind of things in all of crypto. They've got all those users. Why hasn't it taken off, you know? Well, it happened in both directions. We gone through the bear market and it didn't crash now we are like having the opposite of building up like the bull run seems to be warming up but ton didn't really explode yet so if it yeah. does happen then i'm kind of i'll go like mode of saying like i told you so <laughs> ton has one of the biggest meme did they do their coin yet already not coin not coin yet how many people do they have 25 million people farming that fuck 25 million damn if you have 25 million people how do you get that airdrop to even be worth it for anyone from farming and airdrop perspective yeah probably it doesn't make sense at all but from the project perspective once you get like 25 million people like looking at your shit you're gonna be good i guess so let's say if you had to pick your top three blockchains which ones are you looking at bitcoin ethereum and ton <laughs> <laughs> really bitcoin ethereum and ton what's the advantages of an l2 versus an l1 like pulse chain well, just the basics. I think the block times a little bit faster, not that much. The supply of Pulse is a million X roughly. Maybe it's like 1.2 million. Ethereum, there's just more of the gas token and we have you know, the lower fees. It's an open network, right? Anyone can come build, do whatever they want. I'll say one thing from a non-dev perspective about Pulse Chain. There's been an outsized winner and TVL over the past 30 days. And that's Pulse Chain at a whopping 150% increase to $500 million on TVL. I mean, Pulse Chain's coming in at the same clip as base. Damn, that's Pulse huge. Chain. Think about it like this. I'm just a regular guy that's got 50K in crypto and I'm looking where I want to park my crypto. What chain do I want to interact? Because all of them, especially the EVMs, the process is pretty straightforward and simple. You add the network and then you take your ETH, but it's also relative where those people are participating so for us when we're looking at the overall climate of a blockchain but for like a subset of people that are just trading does it really matter let's say the coins that they're going in have decent liquidity like we're looking at the overall like how the chain's doing let's say uniswap integrates on one of these chains all of a sudden you know that's a billion more tvl does that really factor as a metric of like where the attention's at when you're talking tvl yeah i like what you say all the time like i'm a profit maxi not a chain maxi right 100 percent and that's blast yeah and they haven't even launched bro that's yeah. fucking insane <laughs> 1.5 billion tvl